Hi there. Um, this is part two of starting a new project. So by the time this uh, goes up, I will have totally finished the butterfly project and everything will be up in Etsy. Um, so I just wanted to give you an update to where I am with starting the new project. So last time I kind of showed you everything that I'd gathered and printed and all, all the rest of it. I've now, you know, gone through everything properly and decided, you know, what projects I'm going to do with it. So I showed you this last time. It's like an accordion thing. I think I'm going to put some kind of spine on this. Um, and somehow seal a couple of these up so they're like top loading pockets and then have some pockets inside as like an ephemera folder it's got a real nice hard hardback cover and then obviously decorate it up um i'm going to make a couple of notebook sets so I'm going to have some long scrappy ones and they're going to be the tops. Then I shall fold these in half and they will be some kind of pad and then the same with the uh, doilies. So I've got that. I've cut the two clutch bags out from my porch prints. So I, and I've just uh, paper clipped all the bits to it on the on the back. So I shall be doing two of those. Um, I'm going to do an envelope notebook and I'm going to use the Artemis, that's the watercolours and then a couple of her backing papers and then I'm going to do some decoupage and stuff on. So it'll probably be a collage. I think I'm going to gesso and then uh, decoupage some lavender on so that's that and the same with this i've got some big a4 uh, window envelopes so i thought i'd do a journal in one of those again i've picked the same kit because i wanted to make sure that i used the uh, napkins up um i'm going to do an altered file folder with the artemis uh watercolor Kit. so I've got all the piece well the, the backing pieces and that that I'll need and I've got the oh what's it called a template um, of a TN that's from Izzy B's craft so all that will want cutting out I'm gonna do the same with the shabby dabby doodah kit and again I've got the TN at the back and then I'm going to do the other style file folder that I do with uh, Shabby Dabby Doodah. And then I've got, I do these like small file folders. And I've got that kit from Anti Papery for that one. And then I've got two napkins left. So I'm going to decoupage them onto some cream card. And then I shall make uh, tags and, and other things with them. So that's all that. Still haven't cut out uh, the tags and, and the rest of it. But um, they're in a folder ready. And these are things what need... Oh, I'm also going to do some window pocket envelopes with... Um, another napkin so that needs to be on that pile so this is my sewing pile so with the clutch uh, bags i'm going to do some giant tags what's going to have pockets in so they'll be like filled uh, tags i've cut some like shapes for for booklets or ephemera booklets but at this stage all I will do is just zigzag all the way around it and then make my mind up uh, what they will be 
and I've done some taller ones as well so um, lots of options of things to do with them and obviously they'll get decorated so they all need sewing round um, I wanted to do something with the herbalist kit from Victoria Designs because um, you know lavender is is a herb and I love lavender I've I've got uh, you know pillow mist I've got a pulse um, roller ball what you put um, on your wrists and I put it behind my ears I've got a, a diffuser thing in the bedroom and I put lavender oil in um, a bath in lavender uh, I do find you know it has got real good relaxing properties to it so I did want to make sure that um, you know I did did something like that so I've got this little thing so this is gonna um, be folded so it can um, be stuck into a journal and I forgot what I'm gonna do with that oh I'm this is going to have some vellum pockets on the front and things inside this is going to be a, a writing spot so you'll turn it over and it'll be a writing spot i've got this large tag which is going to go uh down the down the in the oh dear in the middle so that's beautiful and then it's got notes on the back so all oh, those one sewing made two little uh booklets with the with the cat so they want sewing round and sewing in so that'll be a nice nice little set i wish i'd have got uh i never really got the chance to use this kit properly so i have made a note that next year i do want to to use that one more so these are from artemis kit the like that and you can either you know cut them into two journal cards or you can leave them together to have a booklet i've backed it um and with these again i'll either put paper in or i'll put pockets in as little um like opening journal card type things so i've got those same with the um small shabby dabby doodah ones that that are printed these will all be sewed round and either made into booklets or ephemera folders and i think i've got about five um a4 size ones which will either be made into journals or could cut them in half and make big uh pockets and things like that and then I've got these two because they're absolutely beautiful uh, and I've just backed them and they will be giant uh, journal cards so that's where I'm at so I need a day of sewing um, and a day of cutting so I've separated all this folder now and everything in it is is ephemera that all needs um cotton so that that'll be a few nights job and then it's separated um in here i've got like pockets and envelopes and some purples and lilac cards so this is kind of my pocket um folder so when i've cut this up any pockets and envelopes will then go into this folder so when i need you know some type of pocket i know that i need that folder and then i've got the other folder which i i have cut a few things up and there's some die cut uh, tags in there and stuff so as i cut them out they will go in there so that that's as far as far as i've got so um next time i come on i'll have sewed these all up i will have cut everything up and we'll start we'll start making something um i think well i don't know we'll 
<laughs> we'll see what I fancy making at, at the time because we've lots to choose from. So that was just a quick update from me. Um, I shall get off now. I have got a, a night of TV plans, so I think I'm going to take this folder down and um, do some do some cutting. So I'm really excited to, to start this project because obviously I've just done the butterflies and that was mainly uh, beiges and, and black. So I'm ready to do to do a bit of colour and um, yeah, I really like purple. And it's funny, it's, it's not um, a colour that I would use, you know, in my house. Uh, I don't think I own any purple clothes. But um, I would say I, re I really do like it. But I think it is very close to, to blue. Um, and I think that's why I like it. And obviously a lot of flowers in your garden are purples and, and blues. So I think that's, um, you know, one of the main reasons why I like it. But it's got a nice, um, I don't know, it's got a nice comforting feel about it. Um, and the purple against the greens and, and the creams is, is absolutely fantastic. I've printed most of the things off onto cream paper, but I did do this one on white paper. I did try it on cream and it really didn't look very nice. It made it look too too grungy. Uh, but everything else, it's, um, I printed it on the, on the manila um, A4 paper so oh and I think most of the kit pages um, I've done yeah I think I've done them in cream as well so I am liking that now I've bought cream uh, paper and card and I've got white paper and white cards so I can kind of look at the kit and see um, you know what type of uh, colour it would look look best on so that's me for now. I shall see you very soon when we shall start our projects. See you soon. Bye.